Please welcome New York State Senator Joe Griffo. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lorenzo Fatina. Please welcome Rhonda Rousey. And please put your hands together for Governor Andrew Cuomo. Good morning. Everyone happy to be here? I was going to say, let's get ready to rumble, but we finished the budget, so the governor said don't make any reference to that. Um, I'm Joe Morelli. I'm uh, blessed to be the majority leader of the New York State Assembly, and I want to start by acknowledging a number of my colleagues who have been here today, who are here today, and have been with us throughout this uh, fight. First of all, my colleague, uh, the minority leader of the, of the uh, uh, New York State Assembly, I said, almost said the Monroe County Legislature, minority leader of the New York State Assembly, Brian Cole. I see a number of other colleagues. Arabella Simonis from Queens is here. Also from Queens, Michael Samanowitz, who was asking for five years when we do an MMA, so he can't ask me that any longer. Kenny Zabrowski from Rockland County. Rodnice Bichot from Brooklyn. My friend Guillermo Linares from Manhattan. From Rotterdam, New York, Angelo Santa Barbara. And from Central New York, Will Barclay. I want to thank all of my colleagues for, uh, for being here and for their ongoing support. I also want to acknowledge a number of members of the governor's cabinet who are here. Alfonso David, who is counsel to the governor. Rosano Rosado, who is the acting secretary of state of New York. And Tom Hoover, the chair of the New York State Athletic Commission. I'm going to be uh, very, very brief. First of all, I want to thank uh, Speaker Carl Hasty for his leadership. When he uh, became speaker, the one thing that he indicated to me about this issue, he had been a sponsor of the bill, he said, go out and get the votes, and we're going to put this on the floor. And so we worked for the better part of 18 months to make sure that we had adequate support, consensus within our House, uh, and I was uh, very, very pleased to see this bill passed overwhelmingly on the New York State Assembly floor, uh, ensuring that we'd be here today with the governor for his action. Uh, just a couple of points that I would make. People talk often about how this is going to be an economic boom for the state of New York, and it is. Uh, not only for the metro area, and obviously we're in one of the hallowed um, uh, arenas uh, in American history, iconic place, but also for those of us who hail from upstate New York, we expect and hope uh, that we'll see a number of cards coming to upstate New York, whether it's Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse, Albany, up and down the thruway, Utica, uh, everywhere in this state. So we're excited about that because our communities care about this, our communities are excited about this. This is the fastest growing sport in America, and it's about time New York came into the 21st century when it comes to regulating MMA. So we're so excited to be here. Um, but aside from the economic benefits, and they are many, um, what we sought to do, and, and this bill does, and I want to thank the governor for his incredible leadership on this over the last many years and for his inclusion in the budget, which really propelled us to move forward. But this bill will, will make sure that we have the safest, uh, healthiest environment for participants, and that's ultimately what uh, so many of our members care about. So this is going to be um, not only fun, it's not only going to be a, a, a place to make sure that New York is the forefront of this growing sport, but it's gonna be a place where participants can, can be certain that we're gonna do everything we can to make sure uh, that they are uh, safe and taken care of uh, as they compete in what is a very, very popular, obviously very physical sport. Um, we obviously couldn't have done this without great partners, and uh, I'm gonna introduce now my partner uh, in the New York State Senate, Senator Joe Griffo, who has just been a great champion. We have worked together, we've done other amendments to this bill, but he has provided leadership from the very beginning. He's a great friend great partner. Let me introduce Senator Joe Griffo. Good morning. Outside of Eden, I don't think there's a better garden in the world, right Governor? It's good to be an average Joe today too. Mr. Dolan, thank you for your hospitality. Uh, it is so great to be here with all of you today because this is an important day in so many ways uh, for New York. Uh, 
we shine today. Uh, uh, we know we have a big presidential primary and all the candidates are here in New York as they should be. And uh, today is a long time coming, but good things take time. And I am just so pleased to be joined by a number of my colleagues who uh, played an important role uh, in this. Senator Jose Peralta. One of the uh, other co-sponsors of the bill who uh, worked really hard for many years with me and we had to go and take care of both sides of the aisle and he was a good uh, whip. Uh, Senator Kevin Parker. Both of New York City. And then uh, one of the guys that first uh, brought me on when I came on and uh, really helped me bring this bill forward. Uh, he has been a true leader and a great friend, uh, Senator Marty Golden. I want to thank all of them. I want to thank Leader Flanagan, uh, who has been extremely supportive throughout this entire process. We had uh, to go through this uh, eight times, and uh, we did it this year. And that really helped get this done was that we got <coughs> another special person that came into this, and that's Governor Cuomo. Thank you, Governor, for lending your crucial support uh, to help us bring this and make this day possible today. Appreciate that. <laughs> And one of the things we talked about was that there is an economic benefit. Uh, and the economic benefit, you've heard the governor talk about this and many of us across the state about the importance and significance of tourism and what that revenue does to all the economies across the state. And there will be an economic benefit not only to the state, but the communities across the state, here in the city and upstate, uh, all regions will see that benefit when these uh, bouts are scheduled throughout this state. So this is an incredibly popular sport. Uh, the fan base continues to grow. And with the New York State Athletic Commission giving the uh, responsibility now to do what they have done so successfully in the past for wrestling and boxing, we now will have them oversee mixed martial arts in New York. And I think that, as the uh, majority leader said, not only will we ensure the safety of the uh, uh, athletes, but also of the fans. So today, I think is also special because we allow our athletes to participate. You have many of them are here today. And we all know Rhonda. Rhonda, we're all fans of yours. But it's also exciting today that a New Yorker is going to get to compete. Chris Weidman. Thank you, uh, Chris. Because uh, we're going to get to see New Yorkers compete in their home state. So uh, I am proud to have been a part with my colleagues in the Senate and, and with Assembly Majority Leader Joe Morelli to bring us to this day today. And I want to now introduce someone who has been uh, at the forefront of this, a true uh, uh, strong advocate and leader, and he has been persistent and patient, uh, and I think uh, those are great virtues. I asked him if he would try to give me some workout lessons, Governor, I'm hoping that he will so I can get in such good shape. The Chairman and CEO of the Ultimate Fighting Championship, Lorenzo Petita. Thank you, Senator Grippo. Um, wow, I'm very excited to be here today. Obviously, it's uh, been a long, hard uh, process, but the, the fact is we're finally here, and uh, we're very happy about that. First, I would like to uh, obviously thank Governor Cuomo for his uh, leadership and support throughout this process, um, as well as uh, Assembly Majority Leader Joe Morelli and Senator Grippo. Um, in addition to that, uh, we have a number of athletes uh, within the UFC that are here from New York. I can tell you that they worked tirelessly, many hours coming up to the state capitol, uh, actually all over the state, uh, talking about the sport of mixed martial arts. Um, obviously, Chris Weidman, Long Island Zone champion, uh, is here today, and, and he did that many, many times. So today, um, I would like to announce that with the approval of the New York State Athletic Commission, we will be hosting our first event here at Madison Square Garden on November 12th. Um, I would say that uh, being a big fight man myself, I've been to many uh, big fights at the Garden, big boxing matches in the past at the Garden, and certainly looking forward to bringing um, the first UFC to the Garden. I think that we will create a massive buzz uh, within the city here and uh, hopefully make history uh, for this, this great building. Um, in addition to that, we will also be holding uh, an event in upstate New York before the end of the year. 
Um, we don't have the exact particulars on the date or actually which uh, market or venue that will be in, but those details will be coming within the next couple weeks as we uh, solidify the calendar for the balance of the year. We'll also be looking to do uh, events, um, you know, we'll be doing events throughout the state all over. So uh, we're definitely going to be here. We're going to be here to stay. We're going to continue to remain committed. This is a great market for us, and we look forward to doing business here. Um, with that, uh, I'd like to announce the, uh, the next speaker. Certainly uh, no introduction is needed for her. She also worked tirelessly to uh, help us with this initiative. Every time we called, we said, hey, can you come out? Can you come to Albany? Can you come to upstate New York? Can you come to New York City and uh, give us a hand to talk about uh, the sport? And uh, every time, you know, without question, she said, no problem, I will be there. So with that, I would like to introduce Rhonda Rousey. Hi, uh, this isn't really about me, so I'm going to try and keep this as brief as possible. But I just want to thank, say thank you to everybody who really made this dream come, come true for me and all the other MMA athletes who always just wanted an opportunity to be able to do what we love in, I think, the what is the pinnacle of professional sports here in the masses for regard, and not just here, but with the state of New York. and. We really have to thank the legislature and um, and Governor Cuomo. Really, thank you so much for all the support and uh, uh, and really giving me faith in the system again. <laughs> because uh, this this is a huge day for us, and I just want to say thank you. And without any further ado, uh, I'd like to uh, introduce our governor. Well, thank you. Good morning to all. This is a great day and a fun day and a special day. First, to my colleagues from the legislature, uh, Majority Leader Joseph Morelli, hails from the uh, great county of Monroe, Senator Griffo, pleasure to be with you, regards to Senator Flanagan, and congratulations on passing the bill. Uh, it was a long time coming. But uh, it happened, and uh, good things are worth the wait, as you said, Senator Griffo, and uh, this was worth the wait. So let's give a round of applause for all the legislators who are here. To Rhonda and Lorenzo and Chris, we thank you uh, for your patience. They worked very, very hard to get this bill passed. Uh, I supported it, but it had a wind its way through the legislative process, which can sometimes be circuitous. They would ask me, well, what do they need to do to get it through the legislature? And I would say, I have no idea. I'm, I'm lucky if I get something done through the legislature, and it takes me a, a quite a long time. But uh, it all worked out in the end. And um, we used to chat about it. Coming to New York, and speaking as a, a prideful New Yorker with a tad of New York arrogance, uh, I think this really completes the journey for MMA because coming to New York means you're coming to the place. Madison Square Garden is the icon, international icon, for great sports events. Uh, and that MMA is going to be in this garden, in this beautiful redone garden, uh, that uh, Mr. Dolan himself has really made a, a spectacular forum. Uh, I think that is really the culmination for MMA. So welcome to New York. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you for sticking with us and going through the long challenge. Uh, but we're very excited you're here. You should know that some of the UFC techniques actually uh, were not started in the UFC, but was started in New York politics. And that's true. The ground and pound started in New York State Assembly. That's their tactic. That's what they do, the ground and pound. The arm bar is, was started by the Senate Republicans, actually. They started the first arm bar, yes. Senator Flanagan, who's not here, because he's home practicing the arm bar, uh, uses it very well. So uh, there's a lot of similarity uh, on that side. MMA has really captured the imagination as a sport. 
Uh, there are millions of viewers, and the, the growth has been exponential and has been global. Uh, and it's been fascinating uh, to watch the growth. And uh, we're excited that that growth is going to come to New York. Uh, as a sport, as Majority Leader Morelli mentioned, we believe we've added precautions that will make this sport a better sport. We have more health coverage, more insurance coverage. The State Athletic Commission is going to expand in size, so we'll have experts in MMA who will be on uh, the State Athletics Commission, so we'll, we'll be in a position to properly regulate it. Uh, but the economics that go with this sport are undeniable. Uh, Las Vegas, that has hosted many of the events, uh, has done extraordinarily well from an economic point of view. Some estimate, uh, estimates are uh, just under $200 million. So this is going to be a great economic engine for New York. Um, not just downstate, not just in uh, the garden, but also in upstate New York. And Mr. Fertitta and myself discussed events in cities upstate that are near the border where we can attract people from out of state to come into New York, which is a double benefit. Buffalo, for example, you bring that Canadian market down, you bring those dollars into the Buffalo market, etc. So we're very excited. Uh, we did miss out on the economics for many years. That is now restored, and I think we're going to make up with it forthwith. Uh, I'm very excited about the November match here at the Garden. Uh, I'm not a promoter, but uh, boy, if Ronda Rousey fought here in November, that would be a hell of an event. I would call in to reserve my seat right now. Chris Wyden, a uh, New York boy. Uh, Chris Wyden from Long Island, New York. We'd love to see you fight here. I was a little disappointed. I was supposed to, supposed to go a couple of rounds with Chris this morning just to warm up. I have an injury to my hand which precluded uh, that from happening. But as soon as the injury is better, uh, we have a couple of rounds between you and me. So uh, it's great. It's great for the sport. It's great for the state. We're going to do it right. We're going to do it well. That's how we do things here in New York. So let's sign the bill. Let's make it legal. Congratulations to the legislators for actually making it happen. Thank you.